Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Playground Sessions. I'm Phil, and today we're going to be learning Hello by Adele. Specifically, the Playground Sessions original arrangement at the intermediate level. And in this video, we'll be learning the chorus. That section sounds a little something like this. One, two, here we go. All right, that's it, so let's break it down, starting with the right hand. If we look up at our sheet music, we can see that the key signature has four flats, and that tells us that we're in the key of either A flat major or F minor. Now those are related in that they have the same key signature. So we can be in A flat major or F minor for this song, but either way, we know that we have B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat in our key signature. If we look up at our time signature, we see a C with a line through it. Now the C stands for common time, which is short for 4-4, four, four, four beats per measure. The C with the line through it pretty literally means cut time, cut the common time in half. So instead of feeling it in 4-4, four, four, we're gonna feel it in a half time feel, in two. Now this is a pretty long section, but luckily there are some phrases within this section that repeat. So why don't we take the first half of this section isolate that. We'll play it at a medium tempo, and then we'll move on to the second half and do the same, before putting the whole thing together. All right, our position is gonna be an E flat major position, thumb on E flat, an octave above middle C, pointer on F, fourth finger on A flat, fifth finger or pinky on B flat. And let's just go ahead and play through this first half at this medium tempo. We've got two Fs in a row, up to A flat, now A flat and E flat together, B flat, half note, now we'll tie it over to a dotted half, then A flat and E flat again together, and these tie over to a half note, now we'll rest, and then same thing here, pointer on F, fourth on A flat, and A flat and E flat together. Now five up to B flat. Half note, and we'll tie it over to a dotted half. Then A flat and E flat together again. Tie it over. Now rest and jump down to an A flat position. Two, one, rest. Three on C, rest, thumb on A flat, tie it over, and again on beat two. Now rest, change position to four on A flat. Next measure, quarter notes, three to G, two to F, and one to E flat. Rest, back up to A flat position. And look ahead tie, three on C, rest, A flat, tied, and then one more. Now we've got a half rest. Fourth finger is going to come down to A flat. Ready? Three on G, walking down to E flat, and we'll tie this over, up to F. Now another half rest. And this is the first half of our whole section, so we'll pause right there. And I want you to review at that slow tempo with me walking you through each note as many times as you need to feel comfortable. 
Then what we're going to do is speed it up to our medium tempo. That's a tempo of 120 BPM as opposed to 160, which is our full tempo. So without further ado, let's get into position at the top of the song. We're going to play this through at 120. It's going to sound like this, just right hand. Ready? One, two, here we go. Together, pinky, tie, and together again on four. Same thing. Together, tie over, one, two, three, four, jump down. Now four on A flat, back up to A flat position. Now four on A flat. All right, that's it. So that's our medium tempo. We'll speed it up to 160 at the end. But for now, what I want to do is get on to the second half of this section. Starting right where we paused, we're going to walk through it at our slow tempo one more time. So just like before, we're starting with our two finger on F, and it goes like this. Tie it over. And then together, tie this over. Rest. Together. Tie. Then together, tie this. Now jump down to an A flat position. Look ahead, rest, three on C. Rest, back to A flat, tie it over. Rest, move down, fourth finger on A flat. Walk down to E flat, just like up top. Rest, back to A flat position. Rest. Tie it over. And then once more. Now in this rest, we'll move down fourth finger on A flat. Look ahead. Walk down again, stepwise motion to E flat. Rest. And then two on F. Now in this break here, our left hand's gonna be playing the chords while the right hand rests. And at the very end, we'll just play our B flat with our fourth finger. That's a pick up to the next section. Okay, so that's the second half. Now, why don't we do that at our medium tempo, and then we'll put both halves together for the full chorus in the right hand. All right, starting at our second half, medium tempo of 120, here we go. One, two, three, play. rest and keep counting all right final measure one two three and okay there we go so all we got to do now is put this together and why don't we do it at full tempo if you need more practice at the medium tempo go back to the first half and then the second half run through we just did many times as you need because what we're going to do now is full tempo 160 right hand from beginning to end of the chorus one two, ready, go.
Nice work. So let's move on to the left hand. Now lucky for us, even though this is a long section, the left hand part just has four chords that repeat over and over again. So before we dive into the music, in context, why don't we just look at the four chords. The first one is F minor. That's F, A flat, and C. Second chord is D flat major. D flat, F, and A flat. Our third chord is an A flat major chord in an inversion, which means that there's an E flat on the bottom. We're gonna play this in second inversion, and that looks like this. A flat over E flat. And our final chord is E flat major. E flat, G, and B flat. Okay, so one more time, that goes like this. F minor, D flat major, then we have A flat over E flat, and E flat major. Those are our four chords. So let's play through it at our medium tempo, and we're gonna go all the way through from the top to the bottom. It's all the same, all the same four chords repeated in a row until we get to the very end. So what we'll do is we'll stop when we get to the new stuff, and we'll take a look at that then. But for now, let's just play through these four chords until we get there. One, two, here we go. F minor, then D flat, A flat over E flat, and then E flat. Keep going. Next line. Same thing, keep going. F minor, and D flat, A flat over E flat, and then E flat. Same thing. About to be at the halfway point. Let's just keep it going. Here we go, second half. Again, F minor and D flat. A flat over E flat and E flat. Next line down. Here we go. Approaching the final line. And here's where it gets a little different. All right, we'll finish out this progression. Instead of going right to F minor, though, we'll pause. We have this little passage where we play C, B flat, then we land on F and A flat. Okay, now this is almost exactly the same as the top from here. We go from here to A flat over E flat, E flat major to D flat. Same four chords, but different order, right? So we're playing, instead of F minor as a block chord, we're gonna play C, B flat, and then just F and A flat. That's a little decorative F minor chord. And then we go right to our A flat over E flat, then to E flat major, then down to D flat major. And that's how we'll end this left hand part. So keep practicing that if your left hand feels a little weird moving from chord to chord, but when it feels comfy, let's do this whole thing at full speed. Here we go. One, two, three, play. Way to go. That's the left hand, and we've already done the right, so let's put them together. The main thing I want you to think about when putting the hands together is when they play at the same time and when they take turns. So the biggest takeaway for this part of this song is strong beat four. Strong beat four. And what that means is a lot of times on beat four, we're gonna play a chord, and then it's gonna tie over to the next measure on beat one. So we're gonna play a strong beat four and then carry over beat one. Usually beat one is what's strong. Okay, so strong beat four is gonna help you. 
take for example the first two measures. We've got that big D flat chord, and there's a chord in the right hand as well on beat four, not beat one, okay? And that happens all throughout this section. So let's play through it at our medium tempo of 120. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. strong beat fours. progression right hand on B flat for the pickup note and there we have it at the medium tempo you know the drill rewind play it back as you need and then let's do it at full speed 160 one two ready go Well guys, once again, I'm Phil, and if you love what you learned here today, remember, hit the subscribe button to your left. We've got song lessons where we show you how to play the main sections of songs from all sorts of different artists, like Coldplay, Beethoven, Miles Davis, John Legend, The Beatles, many more. And we're also putting out theory videos where we deconstruct popular music, we talk about chord progressions, rhythms, we'll be talking about practice tips, arranging and composing tricks, all sorts of stuff. Everything related to the piano, you can find it here on our YouTube channel. Hit subscribe so you don't miss what's next. And if you like what you saw today in the video, well that was me using the Playground Sessions app. That's right, the features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the full Playground experience. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, the app has incredible interactive feedback and gaming features. Full songs broken down by sections and in different difficulty levels. And a whole music theory boot camp section, all taught by YouTube star David Sides. So click the app button on the left to learn more. Alright guys, I'm Phil and you're watching Playground Sessions. Hit that subscribe button so I can see you for the next video.